Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I want to go ahead and just apologize if it is really echoey sounding. Um, it might actually sound better than my normal videos, I'm not sure. But this is actually my first video in our new home. We just moved to North Georgia. days ago and I recently went shopping. I went to Target and Dollar Tree and Lowe's yesterday. Um, I also want to mention that if this is your first time here then please I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of cleaning videos and you will see some cleaning products in this video and um, anyway so I do a lot of mommy lifestyle uh, but mostly cleaning videos. So I'm just gonna get started with the Dollar Tree. It's a smaller haul. So to start off, um, I just got some contact paper. This was the only one that they had that I liked. It was either this one or one that had like blue and green. So this was tan and I got six of these. We do have to rent, um, I forgot to mention that, but we do have to rent our first year here. Um, it was just, it was gonna take too much time if we were to buy and a lot of other reasons. So we're having to rent and then you'll see us move into a new house in about another year. So anyway. And I got some magic erasers. I got this one because I like the kind that has the little um, sponge part on the back. Also, I do apologize if you hear any screaming. My kids are playing downstairs in the basement with their dad because I asked him because if you keep them distracted for me. Um, but I still hear them, so hopefully you guys don't hear them too much. But anyway, I have four kids. So here's the magic erasers, which is um, what I'm going to use because the doors in this house are all white and so are the blinds and there's a lot of staining on some of the blinds. So I'm gonna to try to use these. And then I got the actual Magic Eraser. I've never even tried the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, the original one, I've never tried it before. But I'm gonna try it and see if it works any better because I've only used the Dollar Tree brand. I got thumbtacks because we can't use um, we can't use anything too big that will damage the walls, like um, screws or anything like that. So I just got a lot of these, 300. And then um, just a little bit of fall decor. And I am very late at the fall decor shopping, very late. So I got these right here, the, um, the LED leaf lights. I thought these were really cute. They're like a reddish orange, like amber. Color. I like those. And I got this to go on our front door. I thought this was pretty. Out of all the stuff they had there, there wasn't very much left because they're starting to put Christmas stuff out. So I thought this was pretty for the front door. And then I got two of these. I thought these were really cute with the little metal handles, the little buckets. So, yeah. I got an orange one. I like the reddish colored one. So, yeah. I'm going to fix the lighting because every once in a while I look really bright. So, I'm in a completely empty room and this is my favorite room. It's actually where my desk is going to be. I'm going to set it right over there so the windows will shine on me. But I'm going to fix the light. So, I found out why the kids were so loud. It's because the basement door was still open, so that's why I heard them screaming. <laughs> okay, so that's the Dollar Tree stuff. Now I have a lot of stuff that I got from Target. You guys, I did not know that Super Targets existed. And I went there yesterday with two of my daughters and I was in there shopping for over an hour. I went in there because they needed boots. Oh, the sun's doing something. <laughs> anyway, so I went in there because they needed boots because it actually gets cold here. And if you didn't know this already, we just moved from Florida and it basically doesn't get cold enough to wear boots or to even buy boots. So they needed boots for the fall and winter. So I'm just gonna get started. It's a lot of home decor um, slash like tools and stuff like that. So as far as the fall decor goes, I got, I think it was just two things. I'm really not one to buy candles unless they're like 100% natural and all that stuff. But um, I did get this one. I thought it was just really pretty. I thought it went well with that little reddish bucket also. But it's fall day. 
And it was apparently the most popular scent because there's only like three of these left and all the other ones are like 20. So I thought this was just really pretty. I may not light it. I might, I don't know. I just don't like to light um, unnatural candles. I like to use my Mrs. Myers and my Grove Collaborative candles. So I don't know. I might just have this one just kind of sitting out because it is really pretty. I got this right here, Happy Fall. This is only $5. Oh, the lighting is crazy. Okay, so it was only $5. I like it. There's like little spritz of pink and I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Really cute. These two were on clearance. I found, I found them on an end cap type thing. So this is a cleaning caddy. I really should have gotten two because I didn't realize how cheap they were. But it was only $2.48 uh, for this. So I'm going to use it as a cleaning caddy because I don't have one. All I have are the Dollar Tree bins. Um, that's all I like, keep my cleaning stuff in. But I don't have anything to carry stuff around. So we have twice as many bathrooms now. We have another floor. Before we just had two, floor, uh, two levels. This one is three with the basement. So if I needed to carry stuff up and down stairs, it would make it easier to use the cleaning caddy. And with an extra bathroom, I got this because um, we have an extra shower than what we did before. It's just a little caddy. Um, I like it because it, it's supposed to like, you know, kind of trickle down. Um, this one was $4.98. So I thought that was a really good deal. I was really excited to find both of those on clearance. And I got everything 10% off. Plus, um, I have a Target debit card and I was able to get an, an additional 5% off my entire purchase. I got a lot of the command brand items. Like I said, we are renting and we cannot put holes in the walls that are too big. That can't be just like painted over. So I got these, I thought these looked um, pretty promising. They hold up to eight pounds. And basically what you do is you just put the, the sticky stuff on the back of this. So if you're hanging up something that does require like a nail, then you just, you use that. So that can, so I got two of these. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for at this moment, but um, I thought it just looked really promising to, to get these. Oh, I saw this in another YouTube video. I forgot who it was, I wish I could remember. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, and she used these to hang up like her rings and mops and things like that because I do have one that screws into the wall but I can't use that here. So I had to get this one and it just, you know, you put the broom or the mop or whatever right there. So I'm just gonna put just my broom and just my mop. I, I know if you, if you've seen my cleaning videos, you know that I have like five or six mops, but I'm just gonna put the main one up on that one. I didn't think it was necessary to buy like, you know, eight of these things. So I just bought two and I got this one. Um, it holds five pounds. I thought this would be cute for, um, like it shows right here, a wreath on the door. So I thought that would be cute because it just looks like it was kind of meant to be there. And yeah, I hope I can use this on there. I hope it doesn't peel the paint off of the front door unless I were to put it on the glass. There's a um, big oval glass window on the front door, so maybe I can do that. And I've got... Some of these, I've used these before, back when we lived at the apartment in Florida, um, when we rented there. We also bought a house, if you didn't know that. That's what we're trying to sell right now. But, um, so it's just a little hook and loop type thing, and it sticks, and yeah, it just holds things flat to the wall. So I got that, and I might end up going back and getting more of that kind of stuff. And then of course, I can't live without these. This was the value pack, and it only holds one pound each. But I use these for several things. Um, I use one of them. I use one of them for my toddler's um, toilet seat. I put it. I can put it on the wall or inside the cabinet or something like that. But you can just use these for several things. So there's how many of them in here? Eight. There's eight of them in here, and it was three ninety nine. So really good deal. Then the last command thing that I got, I thought was really cool. It was $19.99, but I think it's worth it because I like to have something that can hold our keys. And um, with the little key 
holders, but yeah, it does hold, let's see how much weight, it holds two pounds. So we can't put like heavy, heavy keys on here, but um, yeah, it does have a little ledge right there too, so we can put whatever. But anyway, I thought that was neat. So um, I got two things, well, three things for the kitchen. I'm actually gonna use this today because I'm making sloppy joes in the crock pot. I wasn't able to bring all my pots and pans with me or my dishes, so I'm making sloppy joes in the crock pot and they're the best when you make them in the crock pot. But I got a potato masher because first of all, I don't have one. I don't, I don't think I have one. I think I broke the one that I did have. And so I just got this from Target and I'm just gonna wash it, take the tag off and wash it and use it when I finish up the sloppy joes. And then I got this for the kitchen. Um, I had one that was a lot smaller than this at the old house, but it did not have the little cutout for a uh, dish brush. And I'm gonna get one of those from the Grove. I plan on placing an order uh, today or tomorrow. So, because now I have actual stainless steel and granite, so I'm gonna have to keep those cleaners in stock and I'm really excited. But anyway, I got this from Target for the sponge and the scrubber brush. And then I got a new um, sink dish drain, what? If you guys saw my last one, it came from the Dollar Tree, so it was only a dollar, and it was very cheap, and it was it stayed like dirty all the time. I had to wash it basically every day by hand because it wouldn't fit in the dishwasher with all of my dishes. It just made sense to hand wash it, um, but it does, you know, expand if you need it to out of both ends. Um, but it is metal, and it's just got this like rubber type coating on it. I think it was ten or twelve dollars. I can't remember. Um, but I like to just keep this on the right side of my sink because I put the dirty, unrinsed dishes on the left side. And then I put the, um, the ones that have been rinsed off and ready to put in the dishwasher on the right side because my dishwasher is on the right side of my sink. So then I got these because my little four-year-old Molly, she's had a runny nose and she actually had a fever the day that we moved here and the day before. So the day we're like loading up everything and the day we get here, she was running a fever and she's had a runny nose. So I got these tissues because they're cute and one of them's already been taken out, obviously. But I just thought these were really cute. You guys have probably seen these. I never buy tissues, so I was kind of excited. I was kind of excited to get these. Um, I think they would be cute any time of year. They match like my decor with like the silver and gray and white and type stuff. And then you guys know that I love my method. So I got the ginger mango liquid detergent. I like to use this on my towels because I don't use fabric softener on my towels. And so I got this um, because I like for them to have like a scent to them. And then for my clothes, I use uh, the Honest Company free and clear little pods, but I use this with it so that there's a scent to it. And um, yeah, I just, I love the ginger mango scent. It smells really good. And that's all from Target and Dollar Tree. Sorry, this is a really long video. But last but not least, um, this was not planned. Uh, it's a story, so it's story time right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that was. But anyway, <laughs> story time. Um, the movers came to our old house two days in a row. Monday, they came and got things that like we really wouldn't need for another night. So they got things like, um, the couches, our dining room table, um, just like some random pieces of furniture like desks and bookshelves and things like that. Um, and I accidentally told them to clean out my cleaning closet because I thought I got everything out of it and I didn't. Uh, I have a Hoover Cruise vacuum cordless and um, I had kept out just like the handheld part with like the little stick or whatever that attaches to it. I had kept that out. And then what I told them to take and to pack up was the long piece that like you vacuum floors with. And right after the movers left at like two or three o'clock that day, I went to Chick-fil-A with my kids because we were starving and there wasn't any dishes. So I had to um, go out and eat. <laughs> and when we got back, I was gonna vacuum and just start trying to rearrange some more stuff for them to pack up for the next day. And I realized that 
they packed my vacuum piece that I needed in order to vacuum the floors because they already took my iRobot as well. I use the iRobot just as like a little backup or whatever in case like I've really been slacking on vacuuming and I can just pick up a bunch of stuff in the living room and just press the button and it'll, you know, clean up everything. So I called my husband, I was freaking out. He was at work and I was like, oh my goodness. I said, they took my vacuum on accident. It was my fault. I said, I have got to have a vacuum. I said, is it okay if I get one from Lowe's? Because we have a Lowe's credit card and you know, you get 5% off whenever you use your Lowe's credit card. And anyway, so I called him, I was like, can I please go get a vacuum? I said, I have to have a vacuum because we were trying to sell the house and you know how it is when you move furniture and there's like dust everywhere and just, yeah, you have to vacuum before you sell your house. You cannot leave it nasty. So, the end of the story. This is what I got back in Florida. I finally, I finally got a Dyson. You can see it's already been used. There's like hair and dust and stuff. And there's some bacon soda in there. But, I'm very, very happy with it. They actually are discontinuing this one. It is the V8. Um, the Dyson V8 Absolute is what it is. So it comes with several different attachments. It has like the brush attachment. It has um, the little the piece that you can use on your stairs. So it's like this big, which is perfect because now we have two sets of stairs and one of them has carpet. So that's perfect. And um, but when I got, like I, I placed the order online and um, it was a lot of money, I know you know that. But when I got there and picked it up from the store, they said, oh, um, this one was actually marked down. It's on like, not clearance, but um, they're discontinuing this model. And I was like, what? And so they knocked off $100. So it was $100 cheaper than what I thought it was gonna be, which my husband was super, super excited about. Um, but anyway, so now I'm just going to end the video with the last few things that I got from Lowe's because I got the vacuum from Lowe's and then I will show you the other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, didn't mind all the chit chat. I just haven't made a video in a long time. It's really hard for me to record and it's hard for me to edit right now. I just don't have any time living out of a duffel bag, sleeping on the floor, no washer and dryer. So can you say laundry challenge? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.